welcome to this special series of parent connection workshops to meet your school resource officer. I'm Natalie Allen, Chief Communications and Community Engagement Officer for VBCPS. The School Resource Officer Program was adopted in the mid-1990s in Virginia Beach. The program is a partnership between the Virginia Beach Police Department and the Virginia Beach City Public Schools. SROs are a focal point of the overall comprehensive security plan in the school district. In Virginia Beach, approximately 30 officers are dedicated to the SRO program. SROs are assigned to each of the 11 city public high schools and the 13 middle schools. A key to the SRO program is to build relationships between the police officer and stakeholders, administrators, faculty, staff, students, and their parents at school. Um, tonight we have the third group of SRO officers with us today, and I would love for you all to wave at me when you hear your names. We'd also like to thank Chief Dean for being here. So first we'll have you wave at us, Chief Dean. Thank you. First from Bayside Middle, we have Officer Stay. Uh, from Bayside sixth grade campus, we have Officer Andre. From Brandon Middle School, we have Officer Marcello. From Independence Middle School, we have Officer Young. And from Kempsville Middle School, we have Officer Carr, last but not least. All right, we wanna thank you all so much for being here and we will you know, honor everybody's time and get right into it. So I'm just gonna ask you all a couple of quick questions and uh, let everyone get to know you a little bit better. So if it's okay with you, we'll start with Officer Stay. First, uh, tell us a little bit about your background, why you like being an SRO and what your favorite thing is about your school. So, so I am uh, Officer Stay, I'm from New York, um, practically Canada. I'm from a really, really small town in the middle of nowhere. Um, moved here for the job. Um, been a police officer for almost seven years. And this is my second year at Bayside Middle. And what do you love about Bayside Middle School? Uh, the one thing I really like about Bayside is it's allowed me to reach out to the kids that I'd already interact with. Um, I've spent pretty much my whole career working around this same neighborhoods. So I'm familiar with a lot of the kids, a lot of the things that they you know, could potentially be struggling with or things that are great about the community in the area. So I'm already really familiar and I can relate in those senses. That's awesome. Officer Marcello, what about you? What got you into wanting uh, to be an SRO and what's your favorite thing about your school? Well, I've been on the department for about uh, 20 years, I'm maybe a little over 20 years. Um, I'm a Virginia Beach uh, school system product. I went to Prince Sand High School um, Winter Oaks, Winter <laughs> Oaks Plaza Junior, Princess Anne. Um, and I got into uh, the um, SRO program by default. Um, they asked me if I was interested and because uh, they were trying to fill a spot at the time at Brandon Middle years ago. And um, um, I wasn't really interested at the time, but they said, hey, look, you give it a try. If um, you don't like it, you need, after a year, you can leave. And I've been doing, doing, doing it for like 14, 15 years. So I enjoy the, the the, the SRO program. I um, love working with the kids, basically. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Officer Andre, what about you? I'm Officer Andre. I'm at Bayside 6. Um, this is my second year. Um, I'm cur currently been living here for almost 10 years. I'm currently, or I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I have two kids of my own, two dogs. Um, and I enjoy working at Bayside because um, I work a lot with the kids on the street, same thing. I work on the, um, in the summer, I work with a lot of the same kids and I like that they recognize me from the school to being on the street. And I think it's important for um, getting to know officers on a more personal level in the schools. Absolutely. Officer Young, uh, what is your background and why did you become an SRO? And then of course, what's your favorite thing about your school? Hello, my name is Officer Young. I'm with uh, Independence Middle. So this is my first year doing this. Uh, super excited. Um, I used to work with kids uh, as an aquatics director for the Y a few years ago. So it's good to uh, get back into that environment with working with youth and um, just developing that, you know, that connection with them. Um, even if it's just saying hello, um, just being that friendly face in the school that they can turn to. Um, so yeah. Absolutely. Officer Carr, same question for you. Oh, you're on mute still. Yeah. There you go. 
We're all getting a car and I'm <laughs> technology challenged. <laughs> um, I've been an officer about 12 years. Um, I'm from Long Island. I have four children and three grandchildren and I have custody of my three grandchildren. So I've always been around kids my, my whole life. Um, I wanted to be a resource officer because I wanted to connect with the kids and help them. Um, life is hard and kids struggle. And I just, you know, I want to be there and I want to be that positive role model and try and help them along if I can, at, or at least give them the tools that they need to, to be successful, to help in any way I can. And uh, the thing that I love most about my school is the kids. They are so much fun. They're funny and they're, you know, they're fun to be around and they keep you young. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. And it looks like we have Officer Johansson from Corporate Landing here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your background and what made you want to be an SRO as well as what you love about Corporate Landing? Um, yeah, so I am a Virginia Beach native, born and raised here. What school um, did you graduate from? That's like a necessary question. <laughs> I graduated <laughs> from Green Run High School back awesome. in 01. So, um, and I have been an SRO for almost eight years now. Um, I really wanted to get into it to um, try and mentor kids and steer kids in the right direction. Um, that's kind of what my goal was. And then it's kind of evolved over time to change into how I can help the kids better respond to officers on the street, because that has been more beneficial for my counterparts. Um, and I like corporate landing. This is only my separate second year here, um, but I enjoy the friendly staff that I work with. I'm still getting to know a lot of the kids, but from what I've seen so far, the kids are amazing. Awesome. And I know we have one other officer join us. Is it Officer Diaz or Officer Mantoni? Officer Diaz, I'm Hi, here. Officer Diaz, you're from Old Donation School, right? Yes, I am. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about why right. you uh, got into wanting a B to be an SRO and what you love about ODS? I love the whole thing. I mean, this is, this is what I do. I love the kids. I love kids. In order for you to be an SRO, you have to love kids. You have to. And the kids that I have in my school, I, I love them to death. I mean, that's, that's, that's me. They are me and I am them. And I believe in them. Um, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I came down here in uh, the 1990s, um, retired from the military in 2006. And um, I've been down here ever since. And I've just enjoyed uh, the program. It's just been very good to me. And uh, I help out anybody that wants to do this uh, program. It's very good, very good. I got some good people that I work with too. Some very wonderful people I actually I work with. That's great to hear. It's always good to work with people you love. Mm. And I'm gonna start with you too and ask you um, the next question, which is um, how do you build relationships with students in your school? You kind of touched on it a little bit, but. You got to be in communication with them. You have to talk to them. You got to go to the lunch cafeteria with them. You got to sit down and read with them. You have to be in the classroom. If you get a chance to get in the, into the classrooms and you sit there and talk to them, you just don't want to just walk past them. What I do, I sit down with them and I ask them, what are they doing <laughs> all the time? Nice. Um, Officer Johansson, what about you? How do you build relationships with your students? Oh, you're still on mute. Um, I, it, the really key to get involved with them, be in the hallway, um, be a face that they can see all the time, um, be in lunches, be real personable with them. Um, they have to know that you're a person too. Yeah, absolutely. Officer Stay, same question for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to, you know, you have to interact with them. You can't just go hide in your office or be absent. You have to stop and see if you see somebody that you think might be struggling, pull them aside. Just let them know your door is open or you're always around. They know they can come looking for you. You got to show them that we're more than just a uniform, right? We're, we're people too. We're here to help and that you actually care about them, which we all do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Officer Carr, what about you? Um, I, I start my day greeting the kids. I try to say hello to them. Good morning from the bus from and uh, in the halls. I spend a lot of time in the halls, in the lunchroom, 
talking to kids, asking them what they're doing. Um, a lot of them try to explain the video games to me. Uh, they're very big on video games on those Chromebooks. Um, I try to pop my head in on the Zoom classes when I can. Um, some of the teachers are virtual at the school. I just, communication is the key. They have to know they can talk to you and that we're not big and scary and that um, we're friendly and we're there to help them. Absolutely. Officer Young, same question. How do you get to know your kiddos? Um, I've been sitting down with them at lunch um, and just, you know, having that um, just positive energy, um, asking them how their day was, you know, did you learn anything new in class? Um, also, meeting the students before school starts is really fun because um, they're, they're not in that school setting yet. Um, they can kind of let their hair down a little bit. Um, so it's just good to know them on a one-on-one. -on -one. Absolutely. Officer Marcella, what about you? Uh, like everyone else, just trying to get to know them in the hallway in the cafeteria before school at dismissal. Um, but I try to reiterate to them that I'm available anytime and that um, I try to be approachable so that they're comfortable in, in approaching me and talking to me with whatever they have on their mind and just trying to be available to them at any time. Yeah, absolutely. And lastly, Dr. or Dr. Andre, sorry, Officer Andre. Thank what you. you. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Um, same thing. I, I enjoy having lunch with the students, even though it's a little weird right now with the COVID. Um, you know, we try to not get too close. Um, but I always have candy. So I always try to give out candy. Um, I also keep in contact with um, a lot of the guidance counselors um, and kind of see where, if there's any students that are having issues that maybe I could assist them in that um, I might know a little bit more about. Um, and also the hallways and walking walking them to school or to their classes and things like that absolutely so candy's definitely enticing i think that's a good strategy for sure mm -hmm. to get kids to come see and visit you um so tell us a little bit more doc or gosh i want to call you dr andre i don't know why i like it all I right all right we'll take it so officer andre uh tell us a little bit about your favorite hobby and what you enjoy doing outside of school okay so i have kids so i don't get to do much of anything um, without them, but that's probably my favorite thing. Anything I get to do with them is my favorite. I currently am learning how to skateboard. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I'm teaching my kids or if they're teaching me, <laughs> um, but I haven't broken my arms yet. So I'm doing okay with that. Um, I like to draw, I like to paint. So I'll do arts and crafts with the boys, um, with my kids. Yeah, that's awesome. Officer Marcello, what, what do you like to do when you're not at school? Um, well, probably like six or seven years ago, I've gotten into obstacle course racing. So uh, I run a lot of like Spartan races, oh, cool. um, but this year is kind of different. I'm mean, canceled a lot of races, so right. um, I haven't been really devoted to it because of all the canceled races, but I'm hoping 2021 will be a good year for, for that. So how are you keeping your workout going if you can't go to these races? Are you having to? Yeah, I mean, I still work out, run and, and Seashore State Park, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to the, the following this coming year for, for races hopefully they you know open them up again yeah absolutely officer stay what about you what do you like to do yes outside? so i have two kids so most of my time um outside of work is spent with them whether it's playing with my son or taking care of my my young daughter um i like to work out um really other than that my kids occupy most of my time which is great so i'm actually a new mom myself so i have a whole new understanding of kids and you know how much they occupy your time so I totally get it all right awesome officer Johansson what about you um I have one kid um just like everyone else he pretty much occupies my time um he plays soccer so I enjoy um watching his games and um I'll go to his practices but I typically run during his practices um, but I do like arts and crafts if I have some downtime um, that are reading, one of the two. Do you have any favorite books? Uh, anything by Nicholas Sparks. Oh, nice. We had another officer on the first call, I want to say, who was also a big Nicholas Sparks fan. I would have to, like, get you two in touch or something. Yeah. Have Read them all. <laughs> yeah. Officer Diaz, what do you like to do in your spare time? You're on mute still. <laughs> all right here we go yeah i have a 15 foot by seven foot uh model train uh o scale oh 
Oh, how cool. Yeah, so that's that's keeping my time right now. So I'm working on all, all the electrical uh, hookup. So that's why I'm pretty much occupied with that. Um, yeah. Basically from that, I just bike in the afternoons when I get off work. So those are the two things that keep me really occupied. Nice. Officer Carr? Well, I have custody of my three grandchildren and they're 16, 14, and 12. And my time is spent keeping them occupied. We do hoppity hops. We have a, a small trampoline. I love kickboxing. We, I take them to Ninja Warrior Camp. I love that too. So basically just to get them out of the house, off the electronics and as active and in the sun as possible. I, I, that's my mission in life right now during this COVID is to get them out in the air. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when it gets colder. I'm like nervous about it because I feel like that's everybody's sanity, you know, is going outside and getting. Good thing we live in Virginia. <laughs> that's true. You have a good point. I was in Missouri for like two years before this and, um, you know, they have their first freeze was yesterday. And I was like, oh, I'm so happy to be in Virginia Peak. <laughs> it's good to yes. be back. All right, Officer Young, what about you? What do you like to do when you're not at school? Um, well, pretty much ever since COVID, um, I've been learning how to like do different things around the house. Um, so painting, um, uh, I rebuilt my deck in the back, nice. um, ripping up the floors. So that's been a, a nice challenge, but a good thing to learn. Um, and then just anything outdoors, um, I'm waiting for all the swimming pools to open up because I love to swim. Um, so looking forward to that. And after you um, swim a bunch, what is your favorite food? What's your favorite food to eat? To um, I actually love rice. Okay, yeah. interesting. Like just plain rice, or do you spice? I can it up? eat. I can eat rice all day, whether it's spiced <laughs> up or whatnot. It's my favorite food. Awesome, Officer Andre. What about you? What's your favorite food? Pizza. Okay. Very with nice. anything on it, broccoli pizza is probably my favorite. Broccoli pizza. It's very specific. I don't know if I've had broccoli pizza. That's good. Good. <laughs> Officer Marcella, what about you? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a favorite food. I'll eat anything. I love eating. Um, <laughs> that's why it's good that I run and stuff. But um, as long as I'm not making it, it's okay with me. <laughs> 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 Officer Carr, do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is covered pizza. It's a pizza with everything inside of it and then a cover over the top and oh, they yeah. bake it with garlic and butter and one slice is filling. You can only <laughs> eat one slice. It's, it's so good. That's my favorite. <laughs> Where do you get covered pizza in Virginia Beach? Primo's. And oh, it, it feels Primo's. like it's a 30 pound box when they bring <laughs> it. It's so heavy. It's got everything in it, but anchovies. <laughs> good to know. Officer Stay, what about you? I'm a pizza guy myself, um, but I'll eat just about anything I can drown in hot sauce. I have like a little hot sauce problem, so. Do you have like a collection at your house of like 30 different kinds? No, I mean, I've got a couple go-tos and I like to stick to keep it simple, stick okay. to certain things. What's your favorite one? Your staple. What's in your bag? Some, what, what is it? Sweet Baby Ray's hot sauce right now. It's, it's, okay. it's my kick, I guess. <laughs> Officer Johansson, what's your favorite food? Um, anything Italian. So pizza anything works for you too, huh? Yes. <laughs> I, I like to cook, so I like to try a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Um, but Italian's usually my staple. That's usually what I'm cooking. So what do you, what is your favorite thing to cook? Oh, geez. Um, new recipes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I change it up a lot. So, um, I try to keep it real in the kitchen. Very nice. And Officer Diaz, favorite food? You're on mute again, sorry. <laughs> uh, spaghetti and meatballs are my favorite. All right. That's my favorite right there. Italian all, all around, it sounds like. Pretty much. What about, <laughs> what about you, little guy? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Um, carrot. What? Carrot. Carrot. Carrots? Ooh, that's awesome. <laughs> Good parenting over there. Carrots are his favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we eat pizza a couple times a week. I don't know who he's kidding. <laughs> oh, you don't like carrots anymore? Mm -hmm. Oh, that changed. 
sandwich. Sandwiches, yeah. Sandwiches are delicious. All right. <laughs> Officer Carr, what's your favorite movie? Do you have a favorite? If you were going to tell kiddos to watch one movie, what would it be? Um, I like the old movies, like Back to the Future, things like that, that, that kind of humor and that kind of fun. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like an old movie buff. <laughs> Very cool. I was just trying to get my family to watch Beetlejuice last night. I feel like that's- Yes, another movie. great one. Yes, yeah, kind yes. of Halloween themed, you know, in the same era. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Young, what about you? Uh, favorite movie, Curly Sue. Is it really? That's so yes. cute. Curly Sue, yes. Favorite movie. Yeah. So, are you a Shirley Temple fan? Uh, yes, I am. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Diaz, favorite movie? Casablanca. Oh, classic. Also, mm -hmm. we have a lot of classics here. Officer Johansson, favorite movie. What do What do kids have to watch? um anything but anything well anything Nicholas Sparks are usually my favorite um the only thing I won't really watch is I don't like scary movies same yeah I wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night if I watch scary movies so I understand yeah officer stay so I don't know if the kids should watch but it, it does have some good things they can pull from it so my favorite movie of all time is uh stand by me oh I love that movie also mm -hmm. classic so good yeah Officer Marcella, what's your favorite movie? Uh, I watch movies all the time. I mean, my wife and I, we always go to the movie theaters every week, um, Netflix and all that, but maybe A Few Good Men. I, I enjoy watching that movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, definitely. Nicholson and his prime. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and Officer Andre, do you have a favorite movie? I do. It would be Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, yeah. That's Will Smith, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very good movie. Got to have the box of tissues, though, if you're going to watch it, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And how many of you guys have pets? Raise your hand. Got some dog people in the house, I feel like. Okay. So, Officer Andre, I know you were saying you were worried about your dogs barking earlier. Do you have more than one? I have two. Okay. What kind of doggies do you have? They're rescues. One of them is a lab red bone coonhound mix, and one is a lab pit mix. And what are their names? Wally and Marley. Oh, they're both girls. Very cute. And Officer Young, you said you had dogs too? Yes. Um, I have a eight month old German Shepherd named Bella Aww. and I have an almost two year old pit bull named Lexi. Very cute. Officer Carr, what about you? I have a very big boned black cat named Star. <laughs> <laughs> big big bone, huh? And I have two grand puppies, Charles and Q, and they come visit often and stir the cat up. <laughs> Very nice. Who else raised their hand? I'm sorry, I don't remember. All right. Oh, everybody. Awesome. Okay, Officer Marcella, what about you? I don't have kids. Uh, however, I have uh, three dogs at home, a 16-year-old um, English Springer Spaniel, a um, year and a half old uh, English Springer slash Poodle, um, poodle mix, and then I have a five month old uh, English cocker spaniel. Very cute. And what are their names? Um, the oldest one, Brooks, Sutton, and Beckett's the youngest one. Very cute. So they're all boys? Uh, Brooks is a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, and two oh. boys. Yeah. Very cool. Officer <laughs> Stay? Yeah, so I have a Morky named Eli, um, and whatever creatures usually some sort of bugs my son is bringing in <laughs> my house um they're usually something else living in here <laughs> no but there's usually something else at least one thing so he's like an explorer he goes out in the yard and finds stuff to bring home yeah he'll bring in caterpillars all sorts of bugs whatever he can really get his hands on and he's got me trying to keep him alive inside the house so <laughs> there's always something you have one of those like little plastic things with like a leaf and a stick in it. <laughs> yep. We have all sorts of stuff. He, um, we, I guess you could call raised butterflies. We've, we've oh. done the whole shebang. So. Officer Johansson, what about you? Um, I have two rescues as well. I have a 15 year old um, lab collie, lab collie mix 
um, named Callie. And then I have a four-year-old, supposed to be Border Collie mix, but I think he's pretty much all Border Collie named Deuce. Very cool. And Officer Diaz, what animals do you have? I have a uh, five foot, uh, five foot by what is it? five foot by seven koi fish pond. Oh goodness! Yeah. Hmm. So I got about uh, ten koi fish. Very cool. And what is it like to raise koi fish? I feel like that's like a lot of maintenance, right? It, it is. It is. It is. They're very temperamental fish. Uh, matter of fact, it's just well in about another month or so I'm gonna stop feeding them, and then they'll go into hibernation between November and April. So I won't feed them anymore. So you just had to just maintain them. But other than that, they stay together when it's real cold. Yeah, that's mm. crazy. So do they, they don't like swim? They just kind of like stay there and... Yeah, they'll, 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 like, they'll hover. They'll just hover uh -huh. together. They'll huddle up together. And they'll just hover at the bottom of the, uh, of the pond. And they'll just stay there, move very little bit. Yeah, that's so crazy. And their digestive, and their digestive system doesn't allow them to eat for the whole period of time. From November until when? November to April. See, the more you know. So next question was, what was your favorite subject in school? And I'm gonna guess yours might have been like biology or something. I don't know. What was my favorite subject in school? Yeah. Believe it or not, it was history. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So what what era did you like to learn about the most? Um, the Egyptian time frame, uh, go back from there, prohibition. So I kind of like in between those that, that time frame right there. Very cool. See what was going on. Yeah, you know, it was pretty interesting times. Pretty interesting times to see exactly how the world uh, evolved from where we were to where we are now. Can you imagine what history is going to say about this time right now? I can only imagine. Oh yeah, wow. this pan yeah this pandemic is going to be uh, in the books definitely yeah. for sure. I think so too. <laughs> Today, what was your favorite subject in school? Um, I was more of a gym kind of guy. Um, okay. I couldn't, you know. A gym and I lunch, did, I guess. Just a subject, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if if I had to decide a subject, it would have been history. I I took a lot of history uh, courses in college as well, but gym was my thing. Uh, you know, you gotta stay active. I get it. It's hard to it. sit in a seat all day. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Young, what about you? Uh, I would say science, and uh, we had theater in school, so I would say those two subjects were really fun. Yeah. Were you in any plays? Yes, a few of them, yeah. Were you the star by any chance? In the uh, sometimes. Yeah? That's yeah. Cool. Did you have a favorite one that you were in? Um, one called uh, Blabbermouth. It was more of a comedy, but it was a good time. That's cool. Officer Marcello, what about you? I, don't, I didn't really have a, a favorite subject, but uh, socializing, if, if that's a subject. <laughs> uh, I, just, I went to school just to hang out and, you know, be with my friends basically yeah i probably could have done better in school if i had a favorite subject <laughs> <laughs> but you're here now you're yeah, yeah you're right. sro it's great and yeah you're in i school. enjoyed it cool <laughs> officer andre what about you i would say art and band music what instrument do you play um i was first chair trumpet Yes, and then I did marching band. I was um, in the rifle line. And then I also cheered on the side too. How neat, that's awesome. How did you, how are you in marching band and cheer at the same time? That's It skill. was a struggle. I would run <laughs> to one, switch my outfit, switch, it, it was, I, I, don't I don't know. <laughs> Very cool. Officer Carr, what about you? Um, I liked art and shop. I have a creative mind and I like to craft and create things. So those were my favorite subjects. <laughs> Definitely the hands-on stuff, it sounds like, huh? Yeah. Very cool. And last but not least, Officer Johansson, what was your favorite subject in school? Um, PE. Yeah. And it was followed by um, science. But I'm actually, now that my son is in higher grade math so I'm actually finding that very interesting since I'm having to do a lot of teaching for that since this virtual has thrown a wrench in things yeah yeah that's tough I feel like relearning math at any like because I feel like the tactics change so much over 
time. Like I was looking at second grade math the other week and was like, I don't even know if I could do second grade math the way we are teaching it now. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's been fun relearning or redoing algebra and geometry. Yeah. This time in my life. It's, I find it a lot more fun now than I did in high school. <laughs> I can see that. All right, and this is the last question of the night, everybody. And I'm gonna start with Officer Johansson. We'll just kind of go around again. It's one, how can students reach out to you if they need you? And two, is there anything about you that we didn't get to cover here that you want your, your students to know about you? Um, the best way to reach me is find me in the hallways or in lunch. Um, I do have a school radio. So if they ever need me, they can find one of the administrators or go to the office. Um, they can usually reach me over the radio. I have an office that's kind of hidden in the tech ed hall. So, but I don't spend a whole lot of time there throughout the day. I'm usually in the hallway. So, um, usually the radio is the best way to get a hold of me. So, and I don't think that there was anything else we missed. Okay, great. Officer Diaz, what about you? Oh, wait, wait, sorry, you're on, you need to unmute. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much I'm in the hallways. Uh, the kids can reach me. Matter of fact, the kids don't have to reach me. I'll come and see them. <laughs> awesome. So I'm in the hallways. Uh, I'm, I'm all over the building, outside, inside. Uh, the staff can reach me by my cell phone because I give the staff, uh, the principal and the assistant principals, they have my personal number so they can reach me at any time. Um, and uh, and that's, that's really about it. Nothing else, guys. Nothing all else. right. Officer Marcello, what about you? How can kiddos reach you? And is there anything that you want them to know about you that we haven't already covered here? Um, my office is located in Guidance. So if they go to Guidance, um, they can locate me. Um, I'm in the hallways, cafeteria. Uh, but if they go to the main office or security, they'll call me on the radio and um, I'm there for them if they need me. Great. Officer Young, what about you? Other than that you're a theater star in the making. What else so um, they can find me um, in the hallways <laughs> or lunch. Um, I've spoken to the guidance counselors as well. So um, if they reach out to a guidance counselor, they can contact me as, um, that way. Um, anything extra? I don't think so. OK, great. We covered it all. That's awesome. Good. Officer Carr, what about you? Um, pretty much I spend most of my time in lunch. <laughs> They can reach me in lunch, in the halls, um, even uh, um, my office is also in guidance. So if they come down to guidance, they can, um, they'll call me down. I have, everybody has my cell number as well. I have the school radio. So um, I, any of the kids, they can just come down or reach out to anybody and I'll be there. <laughs> and anything you want them to know about you that we didn't cover today? Um, I think we covered uh, pretty much everything, um, except I'm a spider web weaver. <laughs> and I made one for Kempsville. If you go down to Kempsville tomorrow, you'll see it because I'm I made one for them for their uh, book club. There, since the kids can't come to the library, they bring the books to uh, breakfast so the kids can have a variety of books. And since there's no um, decorating for because of COVID and the kids aren't going to the library, I made them a, a, a portable web and I'm gonna plop it down on the table for their mystery reading and their spooky reading. <laughs> How cool. So that'll be a surprise tomorrow. <laughs> Officer Andre, what about you? How can students get a hold of you if they need to talk to you? And is there anything you want them to know that we didn't cover here? Um, like everybody said, we all have radios. Um, and I always have mine on my uniform right next to my ear. Um, also, um, the majority of the staff has my personal cell and can reach me from text messaging or calling. Um, so if they ever just need to get a hold of me, they could ask anybody in the school and they'll know how to get a hold of me that way. Um, lunches, I'm hoping to be able to meet more of the kids this year in lunch. That's I would say that's normally where I would be um, along with in the hallways. And last but not least, Officer Stay, how can students get a hold of you if they want to talk to you? And is there anything that we didn't cover here that you want them to know? So if I'm not out and about and they don't run into me or we're not like juking each other in the hallway because there's 800 kids trying to move all at the same time, um, <laughs> they all know where my office is. The door is open if they need to come in. If not, the staff has my phone number. I have a radio like everybody's already said. Um, 
they know how to get a hold of me. They can shoot up a bat signal. I'll come flying. <laughs> so that's the secret that you want everyone to know is that you're Batman secretly. Is that it? I'm something. It could be Batman. <laughs> You'll never know. All right. Sounds good. Well, we thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It's like a big deal that you are, you know, taking time out of your evening to be with us on this Zoom call. We appreciate it so much. And, you know, students, um, we're so happy that you joined us as well. And this will be on our website too. Um, please join us for our next session, which is uh, the second group of middle school school resource officers. And in the meantime, take care and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks.